House am Waldsee is situated in a in a very green area of the town. We have a big garden. Well, I think that all the exhibitions we make, the children can understand. We don't have exhibition which is dangerous for children or something. So it just it's just a matter of how you communicate to the children. So we enjoy very much the Sunday mornings after our main opening, usually on Thursday evening. And um, the children feel very well in our house because it's not so big and then we explain everything to them and, and they are interested in it. So we invited uh, the designer Werner Eislinger because he's one of the leading industrial designers in Germany. And Haus am Waldsee is interested in creativity on a very high level. So they are very gifted artists living in Berlin and they work all over the world and so does uh, Werner Eislinger. Katja Blomberg, the director of the museum, <clears throat> she said it's interesting from time to time to show also applied artists like architects or designers like me. So she invited me to do uh, a show and um, as I was invited I, I knew that I, I would not only show a retrospective of work that has been done in the last years, so I, I would also try to make some very new installations which have not been shown before. Yeah, I guess. Okay, let's say Home of the Future was a title that um, has different expectations from the from the public side. So I knew that this title is is is, is interesting because it's um, some people expect a spaceship type of design, others um, expect uh, whatever answers to questions which. Uh, might solve future problems. So, in a way, I thought the title is good. And in the first room, I show that uh, in the 60s and 70s, there have been many um, visions already, or things realized, or been, been um, conceptualized by architects, designers, artists. So, I thought uh, nowadays, um, future is not about spaceship design, it's more about systems, about um, special ideas which have an uh, impact on your daily life. So uh, as we stand in front of the facade and we see the colorful facade and the colorful car, um, this looks in a way decorative but the, the, the concept behind is upcycling and tuning because upcycling is a, um, a phrase that is very um, discussed in the design scene recently. Uh, to use uh, or to, to prolong product life cycles by tuning objects. So my idea is not to buy a new car, let's say decorate your existing car, keep it longer. It's more ecologic and more sustainable to, to drive your car for 20 years instead of replacing it every whatever five years by a brand new hybrid car. So the first installation is called um, Chair Farm. This is a kind of a uh, aluminium kind of frame and you have plants that grow into the frame in a in a shape of a chair and then when you when the, the chair is grown you harvest your chair so the idea is it's also a, a concept which is um, kind of dealing with industrial production because um, my future vision is that products are planted there's plantations of of products it's not industrial production anymore you you buy some seed in a, in a shop and it's one is chair one is table the other is whatever lamp and then you you kind of plant your own products you never know if it will happen but I can imagine in 10 20 years um, there's more um, in industrial production which is also a you know, with globalization, the components are sent 10,000 kilometers from China to Europe and then here they are assembled here and they are sold there. I think the whole industrial cycle in the world is a problem. So if you plant just around the corner uh, in a field or in a greenhouse a product, and you, it's, it's a different thinking. Because nowadays when you look at futuristic kitchen uh, places, it's, oh, it's, a, it's a very, I say, um, it's a place where people, a very representative place in the house. Uh, very, very important, very chic, very slick. Uh, but I think the future of cooking is not only cooking, it's also about 
caring about how your food is being created. And as you are going to be a creator or like a producer of food in your own kitchen, and that's what we show here with the aquaponic installation. Aquaponic is a system of, of fish feed the, the vegetable and the other way around, and it's a, a water cycle, and it's very efficient. So the scientists who are d developing this aquaponic system, they say the efficiency is 15 times higher than in a uh, agriculture. So if people have at home a, a shelf like in and with some of these installations we show, um, you, 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 you don't need to, to go to the supermarket and buy some tomatoes coming 3,000 kilometers from somewhere, somewhere in South Europe. You can be your own producer. Yeah, the bookshelf. This, this is a. a um, um, some people say it's it's uh, it's not the right way to use books as a building material. But I see there's there's a the world is full of coffee table books. You know these kind of books. Also, you get as a present when you are 15 years old, and your grandma gives you a book about uh, the wonders of the world, and you read it once, but then you put it somewhere in the. I don't know, in the shelf or in the, in the, in the, in the keller. So uh, there's a lot of books which are solid and, 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 and nicely made, but nobody reads them anymore. So uh, before you throw them away, my idea is to recycle them and, and um, make a structure. And so that my idea is that um, readers feed their own system because the more you read, the more books you have, and you can build a story system out of your books. But there's also some, some other ideas behind, because discussion in the design scenery since 10 years about customization, mass customization, so to, to individualize and to personalize products. And um, this is a, a little idea, because the cross, there's a metal cross to keep the, the books together. This you can distribute worldwide from, from one point, but the, the main source of the product, which is, are the books and the books are if somebody in Japan builds the bookshelf he takes he, he, he picks up his own books from the keller and somebody in Mexico does the same and every bookshelf will be different <laughs> 